Top 13 Most Expensive Paintings in the World Hi guys, welcome to Victor Luxury Channel. Before we get started make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Top 13 Most Expensive Paintings in the World So make sure to watch the full video. Many people would no doubt agree that most works of art found in museums and private collections around the world are priceless. Due to their uniqueness, many coins are difficult to appraise. Yet art is bought and sold almost every day, often at prices so high that most people will never be able to afford it. We take a look at some works of art, from old masters to contemporary works, that no one can deny are the most expensive pieces in the world. Did you know that you can now travel with Culture Trip? Book now and join one of our premium small group tours to see the world like never before. 1. Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci Many would probably agree that the Mona Lisa, painted by High Renaissance master Leonardo da Vinci, is priceless. To rate a masterpiece of this caliber is nearly impossible. However, in 1962 the Mona Lisa was insured for $100 million. The highest at the time. Worth around $700 million in today's money, the painting is by far the most expensive painting. One of the most famous paintings is also the Mona Lisa, a beautiful portrait believed to be of Lisa Gherardini, wife of Florentine fabric merchant Francesco del Giocondo. Due to its inestimable value, the only way to appreciate this beauty is to visit the Louvre Museum in Paris, prepare for the crowds. 2. Swap, Willem de Kooning in the fall of 2015, billionaire hedge fund investor Ken Griffin purchased two paintings by David Geffen, a successful business magnate who has worn many hats, for a total of $500. From producer to studio director, $10,000 US dollars. One such painting is, Interchange, by Willem de Kooning from 1955. According to sources, the abstract expressionist painting fetched $300 million and many private buyers often end up with works that end up in private collections. Out of public reach, sir. Who is a member of the Arts Council? The Chicago Institute lent interchange to the museum so that anyone wishing to see it could visit it. 3. Nafia Faa Ipoipo, When Are You Getting Married? Paul Gauguin. In 1891, Paul Gauguin traveled to Tahiti for the first time and began his love for the country and its women. Gauguin created the post-impressionist Nafia Faa Ipoipo, When Did You Get Married, in 1892. An inspiration to many modern artists. The work, which sold at a private auction in 2015, depicts two seated women in a colorful landscape of gold, green and blue. At around $300 million. It tied with Interchange as the most expensive production of all time. Although a buyer has yet to be confirmed, Many in the art world believe it is now owned by the Qatari royal family. For the card players, Paul Cezanne. The card players of 1892-93 is one of five series written by the incredible Paul Cezanne throughout his career. Most of these paintings are housed in world-famous museums such as the Musée d'Orsay in Paris and the Courtauld Institute of Art in London. Art lovers around the world learned in 2012 that this particular edition had sold the previous year, 2011 for a staggering $250 million, or about $269 million in today's money. Today, at the time, it was the most expensive painting ever sold. Although it cannot be confirmed that the aforementioned work is in the hands of the Qatari royal family, it can be confirmed that the painting belongs to them. 5 Lot 17A, Jackson Pollock. Do you remember when Ken Griffin paid a whopping $500 million for two paintings from the David Geffen collection? The second painting, then purchased for an equally impressive $200, is number 17A by abstract expressionist master Jackson Pollock. Created in 1948, this beautiful drip painting features vibrant colors like yellow, red, orange and blue, with white and black splattered. Like Interchange, visitors can also view the work in person at the Art Institute of Chicago. 6. Violet, Green and Red, Mark Rothko. The abstract work N Degree 6. Violet, Green and Red, created by the Russian-American painter. Mark Rothko in 1951 was sold at private auction in 2014 for $186 million, setting an all-time record. Record is high for the artist, while making it one of the most expensive paintings ever made. Rothko, known for his brightly colored rectangular canvases, was sold. 
to Russian billionaire Dmitry Rybolovlev at an auction organized by art dealer Yves Bouvier. Rybolovlev believes he was misled about the price of the artwork and is now in a legal battle with Bouvier. 7. Portrait of Martin Sulmans and Portrait of Upin Kapit, Rembrandt. Portrait of Martin Sulmans and Portrait of Upin Kapit, painted by Rembrandt in 1634, purchased in pairs for $180. Since they were a couple, it was normal that they always exhibited together. And when the Rothschilds decided to sell these works, which were rarely displayed to the public, the two museums offered to sell them. The Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam and the Louvre in Paris have jointly purchased the two works and will exhibit the rare paintings on rotation so that the public can finally see them for themselves. 8. The Women of Algiers, O Version, Pablo Picasso. A colorful display of geometric shapes and angles inspired by Eugene Delacroix's Orientalist painting. The Women of Algiers in their apartment, Les Femmes d'Alger, Version, O, by Cubist master Pablo. Picasso sold for the staggering sum of $179.3 million at Christie's in May 2015. Throughout his career, Picasso painted 15 different versions of this particular work, O, being the last completed in 1955. As with many works, the buyer remained anonymous, but some in the art world have suggested the buyer was former Qatari Prime Minister Hamid bin Jassim bin Jabbar Al Thani. Want to know more about Picasso? Join one of our Spanish tours, like our four-day mini-tour exploring the artistic side of Barcelona, or our four-day mini-tour to Malaga and Granada and discover more. 9. Reclining Nude, Amadeo Modigliani The Italian artist Amadeo Modigliani painted in 1917-18 one of the most expensive paintings ever painted. Reclining Nude or Reclining Nude One of Modigliani's most recognized works, the artwork which depicts a reclining nude woman against a crimson background, sold for $170 on November 9, 2015. $4 million, exceeding the $100 million estimate. The owner of the work, Liu Yiqin, a former billionaire taxi driver who founded two private museums in Shanghai, is said to have paid for the purchase with an American Express card. 10 January 5, 1948 Jackson Pollock Organic lines with drip paint in various shades of red, yellow, blue and gray, no. 5. 1948 is Pollock's classic drip painting. Another work of art that once belonged to the private collection of business. Magnate David Geffen reportedly sold in November 2006 for $140 million, about $164 million in today's dollars. While numerous reports indicate that the very personal Mexican financier David Martinez purchased the work from Geffen, Martinez's camp, as well as experts in the art world, deny purchasing the work. 11. Portrait of Adele Block Bauer II. Gustav Klimt minus $150 million. Symbolist painter Gustav Klimt was an early 20th century Viennese art scene prominent figure. Most of his influences came from the styles and methods of the Japanese art. This influence is reflected in paintings like the one above, the second of two portraits he painted of his friend and patron of the arts, Adele Block Bauer. Both paintings were among the works of art that were stolen during World War II, but were fortunately recovered. The painting was bought by Oprah Winfrey for $88 million in 2006 and sold to an unknown buyer 10 years later for $150 million. 12. Roy Lichtenstein's Masterpiece minus $165 million. Self-fulfilling prophecy or self-promotion? This true, masterpiece, is one of many works by pop artist Roy Lichtenstein, part of an art movement that began in the 1950s a joke's sense of humor. Like many of his works, masterpiece uses stylistic elements from cartoons and comics, including Ben Dye dots and speech bubbles. In recent years this art has been questioned, with some viewing it as flashy and lacking in substance. Although many believe there are layers of meaning behind the artwork. 13 Rembrandt Hanging Portrait of Merton Sulmans and Upin Kapit minus $180 million. In 1634, the Dutch master was commissioned to paint a portrait of a young couple for their wedding. Both were part of Amsterdam's elite and Upin Kapit's marriage was highly sought after by the city's many suitors. These twin paintings are very special because they are the only two full-length portraits Rembrandt ever produced. Although the couple's marital status has not been recorded in history, their images have been inseparable since the day they were painted.
They were purchased by the Louvre and the Rijksmuseum as part of a joint project and are preserved to this day. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.